Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I'm going to show you how to create tables and metrics in Power BI Desktop. Now guys, it's not necessary that every time I create a colorful visualization, I'll be able to take any kind of appropriate business decision. Sometimes there might be a scenario where we have to do a visualization in a tabular format in such a way that we can directly see the figures and take an appropriate business decision. So for the same reason we create table and matrix in Power BI. So guys how to create these tables and how to create this matrix in Power BI desktop we'll be having a better understanding of it in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to create table and matrix visualization in Power BI. So let's get started off. Now under the visualization pane, uh, if you go here, you can see there is a table visualization and there is a matrix visualization. They are just close uh, next to each other. So we'll start off with the table visualization. I will simply select this. The moment I click on this, you can see there is a blank report with right in front of me. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and add some uh, data to it. So what we will be doing, I will go under the product table and under the product table we have created a hierarchy in which we will select all this category, uh, category one by one that is the category column, the segment column and the manufacturing column. So the moment I click on category it is showing me the list of all the categories and then it is showing me the segments out here and in the next uh, column it is showing me the list of the manufacturer associated with it. Now this is something uh, very textual that means uh, only text can be seen now I would like to see the revenue as well along with it so I will go on again under the sales fact table and under the sales fact table I'll select this revenue and drag it here alright the moment I drop it here you can see the revenue for each and every uh, manufacturer along with the segment and the category can be seen in this third column now you must be wondering that the report that we have generated is very small even if I increase the size of this particular table it's not increasing so how I make the changes I just have to select this uh, particular table go under the format tab and under the format tab do you see there's a value drop down menu I simply click on it the moment I click on it I can change the color of my values uh, as of now I do not require that if I want to apply an alternate font color, it's totally up to you whether you want to give it. And it is giving me an option of giving a background color as well. If I close, uh, check this dialog box and let's make it little uh, grayish. So automatically it is giving a background of little grayish format in an alternate background. Because it's showing me alternate background color as this. I'll go ahead and select one more lighter shade. All right. Uh, one more okay so this is what it looks like all right so this is looks in perfect so I have the alternate shade colors the one thing which we are looking forward for was the text size I'll simply go under the text size and increase this text size out here so the moment I increase the text size you can see the text is much more visible right now all right so this is how easy it is also the for the column headers if you can see the values are greater than the column header name so I will go under the column headers drop down menu and increase its size as well right so making get much more visible for the user to check this report out so this is what you can do under the table section where I can apply different kind of formatting uh, different kind of table styles uh, all right let's go ahead and see the table styles that we have out here if I go into the table style as of now it is default but if I click on this drop down menu it is giving me list of all the options that we have out here so minimal will show you the minimum background uh, minimum formatting as we can see out here this is not much of a difference I'll click on this drop down menu I'll get to bold headers so I guess my headers will get bold yeah that's what it is doing it is take, making my headers a little bit bolder alright if I click on this drop down menu let's contrasting alternate rows we have contrasting alternate rows right so this is what you can select from uh, bold header with flashy rows bold header with flashy rows right so you can select uh, the any formatting that you wish to select from this drop down menu and get your report then and there itself all right we'll change back to default because it's looking better than the others right now in this uh, i would like also like to share that what we else we can do is in this uh, particular table you can see if I take my cursor right out here the cursor changes so this is to manually adjust the column size of any 
a column right so if I want to change the column size if I want to manually adjust it I simply have to go on the this particular section and do it manually with the help of my mouse see how that easy it is if I want to do it an auto fit I simply have to go there and double click on it it automatically uh, adjust the column and get me the column width accordingly alright so this is what I wanted to share now we'll quickly go ahead and see what are the different option that we can see in uh, the matrix table and what is the difference between a matrix table and a normal table alright so I'll simply go ahead and create a matrix visualization alright so it is basically again a table but the only difference out here is that in this matrix I have an option where I can uh, decide that which uh, what which column need to put in row and which column I need it put in column section so I will be the leader out here and I can decide what I have to do right so if I we will quickly go ahead and create uh, for different segments let's take different segments and that should come along different rows right and I would like to see what are the years in the columns so I'd like to see the production or the revenue generated by different segment in different years so two things are done the last thing which I'll be requiring is the revenue I'll take this revenue and drag it in values the moment I drag it in values you can see there is a total which can be seen right at the bottom and we can change it the way you want it right so it is getting me all the piece of information right in a tabular format now this particular format is mostly like of a pivot format which we can see in pivot tables in Excel where I have different rows with uh, all unique values and different columns with all unique values and their respective revenue out of it right so simply click here and let's see what else we can do out here in the format section in the format section I have the same general drop-down menu where I can change the X position Y position manually with the help of this uh, boxes also we have matrix style out here which uh, gives me the almost a same number of uh, styles which we seen in the previous section for our tables as well let's say take a bold headers and write something of this sort or I can get contrasting right contrasting alternate rows or alternate rows that's it so this is uh, how you can create a different kind of uh, reports in our power bi using the minimum let's go for minimum all right so this is how you can create a table so this is how you can create a table visualization and matrix visualization and make the changes accordingly depending on what are the things what we would like to show the user or the client at the time of the presentation all right guys so this was all about this video see you until next time